Hello friends, it's Pastor Don and it's time for this week's episode of PD on Pop Culture. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about a film that I watched uh, just this past week, uh, first became available on Netflix, the streaming service. Um, it's called Army of the Dead. Um, it's, if you couldn't tell by the title, it's, it's a zombie movie. And, um, there's not much new here. Uh, th this film is what it is. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's directed by Michael Bay, if I recall correctly. Um, and, you know, it's just a lot of a, you know, slam bang. It's really an action movie that just happens to be with zombies. Um, it's not terribly scary for a horror film. Um, and you know me, folks, by, by this time. You know that I want to pull out something uh, to say about how this movie speaks to the gospel or how it speaks to how we should live our lives. There's not... <laughs> there's very so very little in this film to work with. Um, you know, the obvious battle of good and evil, but then they throw a lot of that out and you're not really sure who the good guys and the bad guys are. Uh, the basic premise of the film is um, Las Vegas has been walled off because it's been taken overrun by zombies and uh, um, a group of mercenaries are going in to, to rob the vault of a casino uh, before they nuke the whole city. So, you know, who are the good guys? Are the good guys the, the, uh, the thieves who are going, you know, indiscriminately slaughtering the undead or the good guys the undead who are just trying to protect their world i mean it is very mixed message as far as anything like that goes um so it's, it's kind of hard to say in that sense it's it, and and even beyond that the film was just okay it's not even a great movie um i like dave batista who is the the star of the film uh, I've loved his work in Guardians of the Galaxy and, you know, some of the other things he's done, although not all of it. I, I think when these action stars try to do comedies, they, they kind of flop. And a lot of them have tried that, Batista including, included. Um, but uh, honestly, if, you know, if this were the old days, I would say... Don't bother seeing it in the theater. Wait for it to come out on rental. Pick it up in a $5 bin if you really want it uh, when it eventually gets there. Because it's not, um, you know, I already pay for Netflix. So I wouldn't have, I wouldn't buy Netflix to just see this film um, or just rent it, you know, in a one-time fee. I know you can do that with some films. Um, it's probably not worth it. it it's, um... Uh, and and I love horror films. I love I like zombie movies. Uh, one of my favorite of all times is Romero's First Night of the Living Dead. I mean, it was a great film with lots of wonderful undertones about you know about society in it. Um, this really had none of that, uh, sadly. Uh, anyway, that's my thought for this week. I hope that uh, you folks are all doing well and uh, taking care of one another. Uh, looking forward to later this week, as I understand it, the uh, governor has decided to lift the mask mandate. So we'll have a discussion about that, and there'll be some news about uh, how we'll proceed with that with church uh, coming up later in the week. Anyway, take care, friends. God bless. Bye.